Hi, it's Scuba Kitty, and today we are going to be talking about um, fourth element stuff, like the bathing suits and vests and stuff. Um, I got to try one of the bathing suits, um, and I'm really excited to do so, and it's got some fleece inside. And it's almost like a wetsuit. It's just not quite as thick. It's supposed to keep you really nice and toasty. Um, so, of course, that's not exclusive to Fourth Element. There's also other brands who do stuff similar to that. But I have a Fourth Element thing to test. So, um, let's do a little video clip. So, um, our pool tends to be a little bit cold, so this swimsuit was really good for that. Kept me nice and toasty. It, 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 it worked. I was kind of skeptical. Step, step up? Step stool. Uh, no, skeptical. Um, <laughs> at first, but it, it really does work. Um, I, I really liked it. It was really comfortable. All right, um, so the fourth element stuff is pretty cool because I know with fourth element, uh, they used recycled nylon from like ghost nets, uh, which are gigantic fishing nets that get lost in the ocean and whales get dropping them, all kinds of stuff get gets trapped and dies, which is really sad. So. To see that getting get get gotten and um recycled is it's great it's good um so that's that's pretty cool yeah oh um another thing to mention is they do run a bit small but you know just try different sizes on if you're in the market for a swimsuit vest or whatever like that. Um, try different ones on so that you know it'll fit well. Uh, and of course, if it's a little bit tight, just a little bit, get in the water and it'll loosen up a little. Uh, but overall, it's, it's good. It works. Toasty. I can probably put that under my wetsuit and be just fine in the strings. So, um, it's also a good alternative to uh, a wetsuit if you just need your core warm and you don't want to say the water's not too cold or anything, but you can't just dive with a, a regular swimsuit. Keep your core warm. You can put on one of the vests or one of the swimsuits and you'll be fine. So it's, it's an alternative to big bulky wetsuits that you might not need for that type of environment. I'm gonna quickly address something because um, stuff is starting to open back up. Um, people are starting to be more relaxed, I guess. Um, but protection is still important. So, I've got some of these little fabric tubes, <laughs> um, microfiber protection thingies, put them ah, over your head. Uh, 
hello. But um, a lot of people use these on boats anyway, and you're required to have a mask on the boats now, so it's something, right? And it um, it protects you from the, the sun. Um, we got these from some little scuba. They're easy to put on. They can also be a headband. I look very fancy now, don't I? Um, but our local dive shop, Seminole Scuba, has begun selling some of these. Now, uh, but these have the little filters in them. Just slap them in there. And then you can take it out, wash it, and you're good. Just gotta let it dry. But uh, this one is special because um, Mr. Paul, the owner of Seminole Scuba, he's a fantastic photographer. And when I first saw the shop ever, I saw a picture and it was this one, which uh, you might notice the similarity. Um, but it's, I ended up getting it because I just, I, it had been like a, a year and I just, I had to have it. I had to, because it's special. I like it. It reminds me of Seminole Scuba. And I really like that place. So now I have it on a mask. It's fun. I'd like to just make something clear. Masks are not to stop things from getting to you. They're for your germs not getting to other people. <laughs> um, if you liked this video, please leave a like and if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. And if you have any comments or suggestions or anything you'd like to say, please go to my Facebook at facebook.com slash scubakitty.us. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye.